Hey everybody, welcome to another Catfishing Chalk Talk. I'm your host Brad Durick from up here on the frozen mighty Red River. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the first five of these that we've done. Uh, they've been really exciting. Uh, the feedback, some of the feedback we've been getting, you know, if you've watched them all, we've talked about catfish conservation. This past week we dealt with uh, lateral movement, which we're going to talk a lot about over the next while. But getting lots of good feedback. We've had suggestions for boat positioning in rivers. We've had uh, barometer. We've had a lot of different things. But today, we're going to try something a little different. We might be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. But we're going to discuss eliminating patterns. And this is something that I came up with about five years ago. I wrote about it in advance. Catfishing Made Easy. And basically... If you got a good idea where the fish are supposed to be, one great way to eliminate water is go to where you think they're not. Let me explain. Uh, if, the, if you believe that the fish are on the off-current side next to structure, such as wood rocks, whatever you might have, one of the easy ways to determine that, instead of going and trying it, and going and trying it, and going and trying it, and then realizing you may be wrong, and then have to go try and try and try, one of the things I'll do is I'll go to more of an aggressive pattern, which is the hole on the outside bend. Give it a, a time. Or go to a mid-river hole next to current, you know, more of a mid-summer pattern that they may or may not have been on based on the weather. And... If you go hit a couple of those spots and don't catch fish, you just eliminated three-fourths of your water. On spot three, go to where you believe they are. If they're there, don't even waste your time on the rest. It sounds goofy. It sounds like a waste of time, but it's been very, very effective for me. So going up to the board here quick, basically try two spots where you think they're not, and then on spot three, try where you think they'll be. Love my penmanship. This w w has been a very easy way for me to determine where the fish are on a given day, especially if I haven't fished in a few days, to get an idea based on weather, water, and everything of where they should be, and go in. Now, if you're fishing every day, and you were on fish yesterday in a spot or an area or a pattern, this would be stupid. Go right back to where you were and start over. This is a, just a way if you're tournament fishing, looking for a, a, a pre-fish and getting your st stuff together if you haven't been on the water for a while. It's a good technique to save time and find your spot. And it'll, it'll prove you to be more efficient catfish angler. Uh, moving on into a couple of housekeeping things. Uh, Iowa folks, we do have Catfish University coming up the 17th of March in Des Moines. It'll be actually in Altoona at the Adventureland Inn. Uh, we are narrowing in on the early bird special, which is $50 per person for this eight-hour event. That ends February 1st. For more information or to sign up, go to catfishuniversity.com. If you're still wondering where we're getting our information for these segments... Uh, they're based on my books, Cracking the Channel Catfish Code and Advanced Catfishing Made Easy, both available on Amazon.com. Until next week, from up here on the frozen Red River, I'm Brad Durick.